Hello family members of Infigan. Today we have something incredibly exciting in store for you. We have teamed up with a brilliant Dr. PK Math to bring you a collaboration that's all about solving an interesting exponential equation. So get ready for enriching experience that will leave you with new perspective and actionable insights. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe both the channels. So let's get started. I will begin this problem by considering because of x is real value, so we can remove both sides negative sign immediately. So what we can do, we can write x power 2 power minus x power 4 equal to x power 4 power minus x power 2. Now I, I can write this equation as x power 2, then I will write minus as minus 1 times x power 4 equal to x power 4 then i will write minus 1 x power 2 up to this point there is no issue now i will consider one exponent property which is very very useful as per our problem a power bc can be written as a power b whole power c and see here i am watching i i can see it is visible clearly Okay, so what I will write here, I will consider it is x power 2 and then it's power minus 1 and then I am writing power x4. Similarly, I am writing here x power 4 power negative 1 and then I am writing from the second tier. See, now 2 power minus 1 is half, so I will write like this half power x power 4 and then I will write x power 1 over 4 power x power 2. Now I will divide both sides by RHS. So okay, once I will divide, it will come out. Let me write directly 1 over 2 whole power x power 4 minus 1 over 4 x power 2 equal to 1. See this is something which we were expecting actually and now it is recalling a power b equal to 1 form. Okay. Now b is the complete exponent. I am putting in the curly bracket. This is our b and a is x. This is a and this complete power is b. Now we know three cases. Let me describe once I will write a power b equal to 1. Then its meaning is three cases. Let me write quickly. The first case is if a is equal to 1 and b belongs to real number, then our right hand side would be 1. Second case, if power b is equal to 0, at the same time a should not be equal to 0. Second case. Third case, if a equal to negative 1, at the same time b should be even. Then we will have a power b equal to 1. This will be true. So what I am going to do here, I will just apply the three pointers. I will just conclude from this equation the three pointers, three cases and we will conclude our result. So let's get started. One noticeable point is once I am writing this equation, x equal to 0 is true solution. And once I am dividing it, dividing by RHS both sides, then in denominator we will have x power 1 over 4 power x square. So once I will put x equal to 0, so my denominator will be 0. So for this point, if I am considering this equation, then x will come out non-zero. But for our given equation, the standard one which is given, so x equal to 0 is true solution. Let's find out the cases. So I will write one time only x power half whole power x power 4 minus 1 over 4 whole power x is square equal to 1. Okay, this is your b. And base is A. Now three cases I will write. Case number one. 
if base is 1. So base is 1 means x1. x is equal to 1. So only need to check power should not, power should be real number. Okay. So let me find out 1 over 2 power x power 4 minus 1 over 4 x power 2. Put x equal to 1. So it will come out half power 1 power 4. So 1 minus 1 by 4, 1 power 2, 1. It will come out minus 1 by 4, which is real number. So what is conclusion? x equal to 1 is true solution. Case 2, when power is 0, okay, 1 by 2, x power 4 minus 1 over 4, x square, it should be 0, okay. First find out this, then we will consider x should not be equal to 0. So this value will be half x power 4 equal to 1 over 4 x power 2. Okay. This 1 by 2 we can write 1 by 2 whole square. So that is square that 2 will come here. Now you can see both sides. I will write conclusion from this point. I can write x power 4 equal to 2x square. Bases are same. Take all the terms to left. So x power 4 minus 2x square equal to 0. Take x square common. So x square minus 2 equal to 0. So x we will get 0 and plus minus root 2. Now condition is a should not be equal to 0. So why this is happening? x cannot be equal to 0. Why this is happening? Because of we have divided both sides by x power 4 power minus x square. But as per our original equation, x equal to 0 is true solution. Okay. Now third case. Third case is base is negative 1. So let me write here x is equal to negative 1. Okay. Now what is power should be? Power should be E1. So I will write 1 over 2 whole power x power 4 minus 1 over 4 whole power x square. This should come out E1. Okay. Let me verify half power x power 4 minus 1 power 4. So 1 minus 1 over 4 minus 1 is square so 1 i am getting minus 1 over 4 and which is not even not even so we will reject this solution okay okay see first case we are having x is equal to 1 from second case x equal to 0 plus minus root 2 I would consider four solutions. So our solutions are x is equal to 0, 1, plus minus root 2. You can verify any time, any value. Let me verify few of them. Suppose I am putting x equal to 0. So you will get here, I will remove this minus sign first. Then I can write 0 power 2 minus 0 power 4. So that value will be if you will check this value only, 0 power 2 and 0 raised to the power 4, that is 0 and it will give you 0. So that value will be 0 power 1. So anything which is having 0 power 1, so 0. Similarly for right hand side, I can write 0 power 4 minus 0. So that value will be 0 power 1. So value would be 0. True. x equal to 1 you can verify. That value will be 1 power 2 for x is equal to 1. 1 power 2 power minus 1 power 4. So you will write equal to right hand side will match. See it will come out 2 power minus 1 power 4. If you will write like this then this value will be minus 1 power 4 is 1. So right hand side you will have let me write here 1 power 4 power minus 1 power 2. So this side we will have 1 power 4 power minus 1. 1 is square is 1 minus sign is there. See like that. Okay. So this will give us 2 power minus 1, 1 over 2. 1 power 1 over 4, 2 value will come out. Similarly for plus minus root 2, same result we will get. Okay. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe both the channels. Bye-bye till next video.